as the busiest spot in a house, the kitchen is prone to clutter. What makes it worse is when you only have limited space and storage. The messiness will soon seize its glory. The only solution to your problem is by reorganizing your cooking space while adding more storage solutions. Well, you have come to the right place because we have summed up these 12 minimalistic storage ideas for a small kitchen. For more amazing details, follow the SimFoam link inside the reference area. Number 12. The Metal Grate Pot Rack Idea Many people store their pans and pots in cabinets. However, the number of cooking utensils keeps increasing over time, making the cabinets overload. If you do not have any more space in your cabinets, you can always tap into the walls. You can make this idea tangible by hanging pegboards, curtain rods, or even this heavy-duty grid. This heavy-duty grid looks like wire mesh. Even better, it is way sturdier. More importantly, you do not need to have advanced carpentry skills to install it. You just need to screw hooks to the wall to hold the grid in place. Then, add as many S-hooks as you want to hang your kitchen utensils, including some recipes or a list of the weekly menu. Number 11. Maximize available space above your kitchen cabinet. Do you think you do not have any more space in your kitchen? Are you sure about that? Look up. You may find ample space between the upper cabinets and the ceiling. The space might not be big, but it does in a pinch because every inch is valuable. Since it might be hard to reach, you can use it to store some less used items like large pots. You can also build a separate drawer for larger pots or pans like 30 inch range or bigger ones like 32 inch range. Another drawer can be designed for smaller pots or pans like the 27 inch range. The third drawer can be made for utensils, dishes, and cooking gadgets. Number 10. The Holiday Kitchen Shelving Idea for Cheap Corners in every room in a house can be awkward sometimes. You cannot place a cupboard or any other piece of furniture in it because it will leave an opening gap. Although you cannot place a cupboard in the corner of your small kitchen, it does not mean you cannot do anything about it. Try these simple and smart corner shelves, for example. To make these shelves, you just need to cut some boards to length, sand them down thoroughly, stain, and seal them, and finally screw them to the wall. You can also install brackets underneath to reinforce them. Additionally, you can install a peg rail at the floor and upper shelf level and use it for mugs and baskets on the lower levels and plates and cutting boards on the upper levels. Number 9. A Unique Cutting Board Storage Idea You might think that your cabinets are already full because you have crammed many things into them. Apparently, you can find plenty of storage space that needs tapping into. The doors of your cabinets, for example, can serve more than just concealing what is inside. You can turn the area to be an ingenious additional storage solution. First, you can try making a cutting board rack behind your cabinet door. It is as simple as screwing three pieces of boards to the door to create the frame. Then, Attach two wooden dowels to it. These wooden dowels will help you hold the cutting boards in place. It is much better than laying them on the countertop, which can take up the counter space, or cramming them in the cabinets with other dishes. Number 8. The Corner Kitchen Cabinet Makeover with Aero Shelving Many people think that placing cabinets in the corner is not a good idea. Well, you can turn this dead end into a fun storage solution with this Lazy Susan hack. Just like Lazy Susan shoe racks, this storage can rotate in place, 
resulting in more shelves than you can use to stash away spices and condiments. You can even install drawer slides to some of the rack so you can pull them out and get what you're looking for more easily. The trickiest part will be the moment you insert your Lazy Susan inside the existing corner cabinet. To do this, you need to remove the doors and add a twist to them by installing Eurostyle's hinges. These hinges will allow you to fold the doors sideways so that you can rotate the racks. They also create a sleek look that complements your minimalistic kitchen. Number 7. The Artistic Corner Shelf Idea This corner shelf embodies the minimalist style at its best, making it also easy. You just need to grab two wooden board pieces, sand, apply any finish you like, and then screw them to the corner. Now, here comes the fun part. You can choose to both eradicate clutter and make your kitchen look more appealing by styling it. Try displaying your dishes and cups coming in a few color shades. You can also try showing your knickknacks or treasures. Well, although this is not a living room and not many people will notice it, at least it can please your eyes and boost your moods. Number 6. The DIY Kitchen Shelf with Some Wires by Marin Baxter The idea of creating floating shelves as additional storage solutions is always good. However, it is not as easy as it seems, especially if you have a shiny and sleek backsplash that you do not want to ruin or scratch. Instead of screwing the shelves to the wall, you can try suspending them from the ceiling. To make these shelves, you will need some boards and galvanizing wire. First, drill several holes. Then screw eye hooks to the ceiling and begin to thread the wire through the first shelf. It will be on the bottom shelf. After that, thread the wire through the second shelf above it. Use stoppers to make the board stay in place. Ensure it is level though. Finally, secure the wire to the hooks in the ceiling. Number 5. How to build a new bookshelf and floating storage in the kitchen. Little details. Number 1. Paint the wall, if you think it will be a wise decision. Before you drop your plan, you can give the walls a preliminary coat of paint. Then you can decide on the color scheme for your shelves. Just be sure to find one that blends well with your walls. Number 2. Install your bookcase. Lay out the components on the wall first before installing them to prevent any mistakes during this process. Measure so that there are no gaps between the components. Take care when choosing where to install these pieces into your wall too, because once they are in place, they are not easy to change. Number three, hang items on pegboards as alternative. Instead of spreading out many shelves, consider installing pegboards instead of regular shelves for better storage options and looks. You can hang all your utensils and tools on these pegboards. Number 4. The Multi-Tiers Kitchen Corner Cabinet Idea This one is another brilliant idea to conquer the cabinet corner. When you open the door, you will see two shelves. It is not surprising, is it? Hold on a second. It turns out that the shelves feature drawer slides so that you can pull them out quickly. Here comes another surprise. You can pull the shelves next to them sideways, allowing you to get easy access when you want to get your pan and pot in an instant. To minimize chances of costly error, Mark the point mark on your outline accurately to get two equal lines at an equal distance from one another, which is equivalent to your desired size for your kitchen cabinet's height and width measurements. Number 3. Hide the rails for a sleeker look. If you want to carve out a minimalistic look in your kitchen, you must make your cabinets look sleeker. You may also have to hide away any hardware including drawer slide rails. To create a sleeker look, 
you can try installing a single slide rail at the bottom of the drawer. You need to install it right in the middle so that the drawer is balanced. Begin with attaching the front end to the front frame using a screw. After that, connect to the other end to the rear of the enclosure using the mounting bracket. It has to be perpendicular to the front frame. You can also install anti-friction pads to each corner of the front frame opening as additional support. This way, you can prevent distortions. Number two, under cabinet magnetic knife rack idea. Using magnetic racks to organize your knives is an ingenious idea. However, it may entail dangers if you install them along with the backsplash. Your kids might reach them easily. Alternatively, you can try installing the magnetic racks on a board suspended from the cabinet using a drop-down hydraulic mechanism. To obtain extra storage in your kitchen, you can install a magnetic rack under any available shelf in your kitchen cabinet or pantry as well. That way, you can maximize the space by using smaller items like spatulas, vintage kettles, etc. on top of it while using larger items like pots and pans underneath it. Alternatively, you can also install a drop-down magnetic rack on top of the shelf and then place your peelers, knives, and spoons underneath it. Before I finish this countdown, Support the channel by pressing subscribe button under the video. Please keep us in your subscription tabs for more home and garden improvement ideas like this. And finally, let's close our countdown with... Lastly, number one, a mobile workbench storage idea. A kitchen island can add a significant impact on your kitchen. It provides additional counter space to work on. However, they can be bulky and gobble up a lot of space sometimes. Therefore, this one will solve your problem. This kitchen island features casters that allow it to move quickly. Even better, it provides a lot of storage. Second idea. If your kitchen is tiny, you can simply get a steel chain and get more space like this idea. You just need to attach the chains on the wall and grab some S-hooks to hang your pans. General Instructions Number 1. Planning the design For example, if you have a double-door cabinet, choose a pull-out unit that can fit into the space of this cabinet without exceeding its depth. Another way is to use an extension shelf to fill up space between two cabinets. A shelf unit with sliding doors enables you to access items in all three spaces in the cabinet when they are open and closed. Number two, use two inch screws to attach the chain to the wall studs or concrete blocks. This point is to add a little height to the cabinet and add a little bit more storage space. Number three, Add a handle to prevent the drawers from swinging open when you carry the unit. Number four, extra. Install a cable for storage box under cabinet shelf. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, press the like button, comment it, or share it with anyone close to you on your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow the Symphone website for more awesome content related to home and decor ideas. Until we meet again, later, sometime in the future. Thanks for watching.